Welcome back. All right. Uh, in this video, we continue to talk about uh, how to create tags. All right. Uh, this video is for the for the Studio Five Thousand demo. All right. On the previous video, uh, I already talk about the basic concepts. All right. Uh, let me clear that. Okay. So on this video, I'm going to talk about how do we create tags in two different ways, all right? There are more ways I will talk about uh, later on, all right? So I, uh, in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how do you create from the spreadsheet, the called tag editor. The other one is called new tag window. And then based on that, we'll move on to uh, the alias tag. And how do we uh, create alias, all right? So that's uh, what this demo for, all right? So that's, Open that Studio 5000 file. Okay, so uh, this is the file I created before, right? So uh, let me move on here. So this is the two different levels, uh, controller tag and program tag, right? Uh, yeah, I can create another program, right? So for example, I can add a program uh, this program called, uh, let's just say lab one, right? So if we create that, so you can see, right? So two different level, uh, two, two separate program, right? Each of them has uh, the local tags, right? So that's what I'm talking about. So if you want to create a tag, right? So let me zoom in so you can see clearly on that, all right? Okay, so uh, right now I double click the controller tag, all right? So remember before we had a, uh, remember here, uh, we have on the slot number three, we have a uh, 16 channel in, uh, input, that's a more, uh, binary input, right? So that's why we have those IO tags created. I already explained that before. and. If you want to create a tag, you, you couldn't create from here because you can see at the bottom here, right? You are at the monitor tags tab. There are two different tabs, right? If you want create, you have to select the edit tag, right? So when you click this tab, you have a uh, the uh, blank row created here, right? So I can create the name tag underscore one remember the rules right you have to follow the rules for the uh, for the name and then next type right remember here uh, we are doing the controller level that's a scope right remember three properties right uh, the first one is the uh, tag type right and data type and tag scope so we already handle the scope and hope here data type right data type is i want to represent a uh, push button, right? So maybe I should change that to PB1, right? Let me make it clear, PB, PB1, let's say that, all right? So if you, the default is double integer, that's clearly not appropriate, right? Because push button only can have two values, zero or one. The proper type should be boo, right? So you click here, you can see that there. Or if you click, you can see here, the data type selector, right? You can you can share, see a long list, right? So we don't have to go through all of them. So we choose Boolean, click OK. So you create the first type, right? And you can create another one called my number and then create as a double integer, right? That's appropriate data type on that, right? So you can do this like that, right? So, uh, this is on the controller level. Then you, you can do the same thing with the uh, program level, right? So if you click here, remember the local tag, right? And same thing, you need to click edit tag. Or if you right click, you can choose edit tag. Then you automatically go into the edit. Then over here, you remember that we can create tag just like the, uh, uh, the slide I show you, right? and tag four, and then don't forget, change the data type as a boo, 
I choose blue. And then we take care of three things, three properties, right? So the, uh, oh, I haven't talked about the, uh, the, the other property, the, the tag type, right? So if we leave alias four empty, there'll be the default, right? So the base tag. So we talk about the uh, scope, we talk about data type. So with lab one, you can create uh, right click, edit tags. So you have nothing in there right now. You can create another tag called tag four. Right, so just like the, uh, uh, the demonstration, right? So we can have two tag fours, right? Then uh, one is on the lab one, the other one is at the uh, main program, they're not, they don't interfere to each other. They are two separate scopes, right? So this is the first way to use the spreadsheet, right? With spreadsheet, the, uh, the bad thing with that is that you can keep going, right? So if you want to create more than one tags, right? You can just create, uh, let's just say a tag five. This time I'll just leave that as a double integer. Then you can have tag uh, six, right? If you enter, you can keep going. You, you can create more than one tags at one time, right? So this is one first way to do it, all right? And uh, the second way, all right, I'll move that on here. So, so this is the first way I already demonstrated from the spreadsheet. Then you can also use a new tag window, right? New tag window will work almost the same way as before, right? So uh, we can right click the scope. So for example, on the control level, right click, you can create new tag, right? It, it, you will have a new tag window pop up, right? So with new tag window, you can create, for example, PB2. Right, so you can have description and you can see here type, right? So now you see this, right? If you don't change it, it's just as a, as a base. And then you can see here alias, the other two type produced, consume. You don't need to worry about those two now. And it will leave the alias for empty. And default is double integer. We should choose the boo, right? Because it's a, uh, it's a, it's, it's a, uh, uh, Boolean tag, right? So once we hit enter, it automatically created. How do we know it? If we double click, you can see here, PB2 is, auto, is already created. Oh, all right, so this is how do we uh, create uh, the tags from two different ways, right? So one way is to use the uh, editor spreadsheet. The other one is you use tag, uh, new tag window, right? Uh, there are different ways to to create tags. Uh, I will uh, show you in the following videos. So now, how do we do the alias? Right? How do we uh, create alias tag? Alias tag is just based on what you created before. Remember, we talk about the three-wire control, right? So, for example, this is PP1, PP2, right, in the program. We already finished logic. Now we just need to assign that to the input uh, channel. You can see here, we have local uh, uh, slot number three input, right? That's the data you can see here. Uh, I need to change it to here. You can see here. So we have 16 points from point zero zero to point 15. So we need tied up those two buttons into those real inputs. Right. How do we do it? Click edit, right? Because right now you are in monitor, there's no way you can change it. Monitor, you can only check the values, right? When you click the edit, you'll be able to make a change on that. So with PB1, you can see here, there's a, a column called alias four. So click here, you will see this uh, drop down uh, button on here. The other way to do that, if you right click, uh, let me see here, right click, and then uh, you should be able to get the property. Yeah, edit PB1 property, right? 
similar to the new tag window, you can also change on here, right? Alias and then on here, right? So normally uh, we'll do here, right? So you can do it on here, click this button, you will find the input module. Then once you open here, all the tags associated with that input module is listed on here. And then you just need to go through that. You can see here channel, right? Each different channel. For example, PB1 connected to the channel uh, point one, right? Let's just say for that, right? When you click on that, double click, you assigned this to this same uh, tag on here. So both tag name, right? This is user created tag. This is system uh, software created tag. They point to the same memory, right? So they can uh, change each other, right? So on, on that. So same way you can do it on the PB2, right? PB2 can be assigned to the another point, right? So remember that uh, uh, on here, so you can double click on, double click on this one that will be assigned to here. So this is channel zero 01, this is channel zero 02. All right, so this is how do you create a tag by using the spreadsheet or new tag window. Then you can also assign them to alias tag. All right, I see you on the next video.